fabric that I'm going to be using is this Staples one. Um, I don't think this is going to be the final paper that I use to make my greeting cards, um, just for test printing. Yeah, let's go ahead and print. So as I guessed, it kind of clipped the bottom part. Um, I'll probably try that again um, eventually, but since it's just a test, it's fine. Um, but the print quality on this paper is absolutely incredible. Like the colors turned out exactly how I wanted it. It's just super vibrant and really nice. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut this now hopefully I don't ruin it because I tend to do that sometimes <laughs> There they are, my first greeting cards test print. But overall, I'm really happy with it. I did, I think it would be kind of cool to offer like both one with text and one without just in case people don't want a text on it. And the good thing about making these myself is that I can kind of have more control over that. Whereas if I outsource, it will probably be hard to do offer both but since I will be making these at home I think it would be a good idea to offer um, one that's blank and one that has words on it okay. envelopes acquired Speaking of greeting cards, here's how I created this greeting card with the help of today's video sponsor, Kittle. Kittle is your all-in-one web-based design tool with professional-grade templates, advanced editor features, and powerful AI tools to help speed up your workflow. What I love about Kittle is their easy-to-use, intuitive editing space that makes creating designs so much more fun and simple. I love their huge library of amazing fonts and how easy it is to edit text to make your designs really stand out and pop. If you feel like design is not your forte, don't worry because Kittle has thousands of professional templates to help get you started and they make it super easy for you to go in and customize them for your needs. So right now we're on Kittle.com. So what I did was I went through a lot of the poster and greeting card template sections and I just kind of bookmarked some of my favorites and kind of took note of the different fonts that I wanted to try and use in my own design. So let's go ahead and start a new project. So I already went ahead and designed my um, illustration. So I'm just gonna bring that in just a PNG and I'm just gonna go ahead and line it up to the edges there and then just pop that out so it comes all the way to the edge and for now I'm just gonna leave the background white because I'm gonna go ahead and just add in my text so I'm hitting T on my keyboard and I'm just gonna type in the code that I want to use for this greeting card So now I'm just gonna go ahead and think about the background color that I wanna use. So if I go down here to project colors, I can easily change my background. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good so far, but I feel like it's kind of missing just a little bit of detail. So one of my favorite ways to add details on here is just to work with the shading styles and decorative style. So I'm gonna go ahead and find different borders style that I wanna work with. And then I'm 
gonna go under the text decoration section and add just a little bit more detail. So I think it'll be fun to kind of have like a little bit of a gradient. So I'm just gonna use like colors from my design possibly. So I'm going to go over to the texture section, green textures, and I'm just going to find one that I like. But I hope that was fun for you guys to see how I went ahead and designed the words for this. So you can click the link in my description to try Kittle today for free and use my code MikivaYT for 25% off your first month of Kittle Pro. And thank you so much Kittle for being the very first sponsor of the channel. <laughs> Hi guys, so I thought I would turn on the camera for a bit. There's something that I've been doing recently, which is in the mornings when I wake up, after I have like my quiet time and everything, I sit at my desk, bring out this sketchbook, my mini sketchbook, which is probably my favorite sketchbook that I have, and I draw. So I've been playing around with my traditional art materials lately. So my colored pencils, markers, all of that and so yesterday I did this one um, and no surprise you know I love to draw fruits sat down at my desk and brought up my markers and colored pencils and just doodled away for like an hour or so 
and the day before I also did this one and um, it's been really fun to just start my mornings in this way and then of course this morning you saw me doing this one um, with the butterflies so this was really fun wanted to draw some butterflies and these were so fun to do um, they, this one took me a while um, but I was really taking my time with it and like this butterfly was actually supposed to be a flower um, and it just did not look right to me so I just turned it into a butterfly and I was recording the entire process on both my phones because I used this one on the tripod um, which is my iPhone 15 and then I still have my iPhone 8 and so I use this um, as a second camera to hike handheld shots um, and they both can do 4k video so I was using both of those to film yeah so that's something that I've been trying to do in the mornings as a bit of a warm-up but also I really just want to get better at working in my sketchbook and get more confident with my my art style working in procreate with colors is like so different because there's like endless colors whereas when I'm working with my color pencils or tombow markers there's only a few colors that I can select and so it's always interesting to kind of see the color palettes that I kind of create and I went ahead and scanned these just because I'm scared that I'm gonna get them dirty and that is that so that's been my morning routine lately and it's something that I hope to keep up and I love doing it in the mornings because I get to take advantage of the sunlight on my desk and so it's just like this added sitting here literally sunbathing pretty much but drawing in my sketchbook has just been so calm and peaceful such a peaceful way to start the day mm -hmm. 